we're gonna solve from the equation dp dt equals we're gonna use the form that we already um, rearranged after we found the critical number so dp dt equals negative one over four of two p minus minus three squared okay as you see, this one is so obvious that this is a separable equation. Okay, separable. So with the separable equation, we're gonna uh, treat them like separate them totally, the p and dp in one side and dt on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna keep a negative sign on the right and then take the four over just for our convenience. So four here divided by two p minus three squared dp equals negative one dt. Okay, you can rearrange either way as long as you, you as use the same technique as separable equation. Um, the final solution will be equivalent form. It doesn't look exactly the same, but it's gonna be equivalent. No worry about, okay? So for the antiderivative, the right-hand side, yes, we have negative t and then plus c. The left-hand side, so just use the, the use of as u equals 2p minus 3. And this is the integral 4 times 2p minus 3 to the power negative second with respect to p. And um, from u equals 2p, so du is, this one put out, du is 2dp, okay? Or dp is one half of the du merged with the two to be two integral u to the negative second du. And this antiderivative will give you negative first divided by negative first, which is negative two here. And uh, bring it back in the terms of two p minus three. So we get negative two divided by two p minus three equals negative t plus c. Okay. This is an implicit solution. And um, since the, 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 what do you call? The P at zero equals P subscript zero or the initial, um, initial population. You either like plug in P at zero as a P subscript zero at this step or rearrange the term to find the solution P in the nice or better looking one. Um, so I would go with the current form here to get a C and plug, replace the C with the, the file term and then find another form of the solution later. Okay, for this case, um, as T equals zero, we get C equals negative two divided by two times P zero minus three. It just come right out. But yeah, you're gonna deal with the fraction form. It's kind of pros and cons. And then after that, we get um, the solution in the form of negative two over two P minus three equals negative T minus two divided by two P zero minus three. Okay, another sensitive part that you have to worry about because you have fraction everywhere, T is hidden in the denominator of the left hand side to, to find the to find the exact not the exact the explicit solution you just have to rearrange the term and um, just be careful at this step so i'm gonna do the technique like make make the left and the right as one single fraction the left hand side is already single fraction Okay, negative two divided by two p minus three. But the right hand side, I'm gonna combine them into one single fraction. Okay, with the common denominator, two p zero minus three. And then uh, negative p multiplied by two p zero minus three divided by two p zero minus three. So we get negative, if, okay, I can add another step just in case if you need more detail, then minus two. So now we have negative two t p zero plus three t minus two all divided by two p zero minus three. 
where the left hand side is negative two over two p minus three. Okay, it's just be careful because p subscript zero is some constant number that we, we don't have it for now. Just have to leave it the way it is. So next, we're gonna do the flip, okay? Like one over x equals one over y. So that means x equals y. So with this technique, therefore we have two p minus three divided by negative two equals two p zero minus three divided by negative two t p zero plus three t minus two. And then we're gonna clean up solving for p. The p is one single term on the left hand side there. Cut a pivot off one layer at a time. Oops, where do you go? All right, multiply all by positive by negative two. So we get two p minus three equals negative two here. Uh, I think we can go ahead and multiply by negative two. It'd be negative four p zero plus six. Okay, divided by negative two t plus p zero plus 3t minus two, and then plus three both sides, added by three both sides. And then we get two p equals negative four p zero plus six, divided by negative two t plus p zero. No, this is two t, yeah. See, I already make a mistake. Hang on a second. Then we flip this bottom is negative two t p zero plus three t minus two. P zero plus three t minus two. And then since we add by three, okay, same denominator. Something I have to work to, to be careful. So divide um mod Multiply three with the same denominator. It's gonna be plus the three times negative two t p zero, which is negative negative six t p zero plus nine t minus six minus six. And you see six and six cancel. Okay. And then your p equals one half. And actually the numerator here is negative four p zero minus six t p zero plus nine t. And then we divide all by two. We do, uh, after we divide all by two, the top which is negative four is p zero minus six P, P0 plus 9T divided by 2 will be on the bottom here, negative 2T. I can multiply all by 2 or leave it as the, the factor 2 in front of the parentheses. Okay, so this is the general solution. If we know P subscript 0, we can plug it in and get the, um, the particular solution for this solution P. All right, it's, it's not pretty, right? It's not pretty. Now we're gonna um, question for part B, find the analytical solution. The technique always the same, but the detail depends on how much algebra that you have to deal with. Okay, 